Check, check. Hello. Can you read me? Buck Thunder. Buck. Buck. Oh, it's me, Phil, your divorce attorney. Welcome to Buck Thunder 2, Xeno Slaughter. Another Buck Thunder game. Your ex-wife is back and more evil than ever. She's sending a bunch of her new blood-sucking boyfriends out. So go shoot them. Just kill them all, Buck. That's, that's the game. Buck, it's me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to move and jump and everything, right? There's shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck. This is the second game. You know how to do all this shit. All right, Buck, you're gonna have to use the brand new double jump to get over there. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Buck. I forgot there's no double jump. Just crouch. We gotta try crouching, Buck. Fucking scheduling and scoping bullshit. A fucking crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, who, who are these people above us? All right, that's a good crouch, Buck. That's a good crouch. Good boy, good boy. All right. Stay sharp, Buck. A bunch of your ex-wife's new alien boyfriends. There they are, coming right at you. Just shoot them, Buck. You remember how to shoot, don't you? Shoot, Buck. what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those fuckers. You're the man. I love you, Buck. You're so fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea. You're my favorite client. All right, Buck. Just open... Oh, my God, Buck. You did it. You opened the door. You're a fucking genius. You are my favorite client. It's me, by the way, your divorce attorney. Don't forget, I'm Bill, your divorce attorney. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's defeat your ex-wife. Attorney, let me fill you in on what's going on. An alien spaceship landed in your ex-wife's backyard. She fell in love with the leader, and it turns out they're all a hive mind, so she's fucking all of them. What are the odds? I know that's probably what you're thinking, but just get out there and kill a fuck. It's all you can do. Over and out. say goodbye to mom and dad before they left for their trip. You know they were pissed, right? Whatever. We got the place to ourselves now. Oh my god. Don't give me that look, narc. What, are you mad that I'm throwing this party tonight? <laughs> it's fine. Mom and dad are gone for a whole fucking week. We can do whatever we want. Here, come on. Try some. <laughs> you know it's good for your depression, right? Okay, we're totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. I gotta text Jen and make sure she brings the good shit. Uh, did you know she almost got a DUI? Don't tell anyone. That is a secret, but everyone already knows. <laughs> it's really fucked up. Her parents took away her car, which sucks because we could fit two kegs in her trunk. I mean, whatever. I think Oliver's boyfriend has it covered, which, by the way, they are really not right for each other. Skylar saw them fighting in the Circle K last week, which I wish I was there because I love watching people fight but they don't know that i mean they do know but we're acting like they don't know but whoa 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 it's kicking in oh uh, what is wrong with your face uh so anyways but honestly it's really obvious just from watching them they don't even like each other you look weird you can see that right like i'm not crazy Holy shit, your face keeps changing. I, I think I took too much. Wow, <laughs> I'm zooted. God, I'm tripping hard. This is the good stuff. I can't even remember what you used to look like. That's good stuff. I didn't even think I took a high dose. I swear to God, you didn't used to look like that. I don't know what you think, but I know. God damn, just pick a face and stick with it. I'm too fucked up for this. Hello? Why aren't you saying anything? Oh my god, can you hear me? Am I even talking? Oh, this is gonna be really interesting. 
Is this gonna be permanent? No one cares what you look like anyway. They only care about themselves. I only care about myself. You look weird. You can see that, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Uh, are you listening? Holy shit, your face keeps changing. I, I think I took too much. Wow. <laughs> Ugh, finally, there you are. I felt like I was losing my mind. So, do you want any or nah? Fine, more for me then. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. Mom told me I was in charge. She did it in secret so it wouldn't hurt your feelings and dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store. You come in or what? Come on, I don't want to carry it all myself. So I guess. Holy shit! Oh, what the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. I knew aliens were real. I can you understand what they're saying? Oh shit, look, it's Mr. Pilfrey. He's got the um What's it called? Uh, What's going on out here? Martha? Is that you? Oh my god! Oh my god! What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? Hola! Me mato! What the fuck is going on? Cho! Machita! Wana ho! Whoa! de tanda! Ula ba giwa la kanga ma! What is that sound? It's coming from the dead alien. Please be careful. Oh, did that thing just spit all Finally! On you? Oh my god, finally I'm free, thank god! What a nightmare! Listen, can you pull the inhibitor chip out of me? It's the metal thing stuck in me, just pull it out! Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, 
That feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we we gotta kind of we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Ignore her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. Those D three guys are gonna turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because you know I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill those D three grunts, you know they're gonna fucking kill us. Let's not kill them, okay? Do you really not know what button to press? Just keep hitting buttons. Trigger. Fuck yeah, there we go. Uh, you go on ahead. I I'm going to stay hidden. Then maybe try to sneak back to the house. choice in this you can run but you can't hide oh shit it's so hard they're tougher did you get it so the warp drive should be at the top that's where it always is and shit like this just keep going keep going up to the top we lost him Your planet is doomed right now. Okay, listen, don't worry about the beeping. The beeping's fine. It's just, it's gonna blow up soon. We just need to plug this thing into power. Do, do you have something back in your house? That, you know, do you live in one of these huts around here? Take us there. We gotta move. We gotta move, move, move. Damn it. Take out any G3 movies. We, we gotta hurry. I'm done with you. Perfect, perfect. Now just look down the sights and buy it. You're doing great, by the way. I've been chosen. It's my oh, best. Oh, I'm proud of you. That's crazy. You're talking crazy. The only thing that's crazy, you need some more encouragement. You're, uh, that's my little cheap freak killer. Oh, look at you, cheap freak killer.
What... what just happened? Looks like we made it. Welcome to Blim City! Did you just warp our entire house to another planet? Yeah, keep up! We'll be safe here! Now take me outside! Whoa, whoa, you're just gonna leave me here in... in what? Space? Are we... are we in space? Yeah, sorry, I know you're a bit shaken up, but you'll be fine. It's better than getting enslaved by the G3. Trust me. I guess that's true. How the hell are we gonna get back to Earth? Uh, we can't. That was a one-way trip. We don't have the coordinates to your planet. Then what about our parents and everyone else? Look, we left because we're trying to save them. That, that, that's why we need Gene. So, so can we please go find him? You're going out there? Into space? Yeah! Welcome to fucking space! So this is Blim City. Not not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just let's just ask. He he is famous. So how is it out there? Is it scary? It's fine. It's 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 space. Same as it always was. Stop freaking out about it. Listen, we're gonna, hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the bounty hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no. Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this, this guy? No. Oh, no, of course not. Okay, not everyone's gonna be helpful. Hey, calm down. We don't need to shoot everybody. Oh, that's a lug locks over there. There's usually some good loot inside, but we need some kind of sharp device to open it. Uh, hello? Get away. They'll take my shit. Oh my god. I it can't be. What do you want? Y you're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's asking? You're, you're really Gene. Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. <laughs> we were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid? Do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn home. Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn. Where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. God damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? But you just said... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who, who'd you say? The, the G3 cartel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's, that's convenient. Yeah, I could turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die... I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. And, and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, hairy kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, g go ahead. Try it on. What choice do we have? You look great, kid. A natural. <laughs> Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. All right, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. The ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop, and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Gene Zaruthian. It's me, Pseudo, your helpful bounty hunting assistant. Before I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? 
Okay, perfect. Great job. I've identified your current objective. Head on down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop. Can you see the waypoint? Perfecto mundo. Everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Gene. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Uh, okay, let's just head to Mr. Keeps, I guess. Ooh, oops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are going to keep coming back nonstop. Uh, that's just going to keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. You, you able to see okay? Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be l like that. I, I think Mr. Keep is just ahead. You, you, you got this. I wonder what kind of bounty hunting equipment Gene is setting up for us, huh? It's kind of exciting, you know, sort of. It could be cool. We can't open those yet. We're, we're going to need something sharp. You, you able to see okay? Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be like that. I think Mr. Keep is just ahead. You, you, you got this. I wonder what kind of bounty hunting equipment Gene is setting up for us, huh? It's kind of exciting, you know, sorta. It could be cool. What's up, freak? Jorb! Greet the customer properly. Welcome to Mr. Keep's dipshit. We're your friendly neighborhood pie shop. Buy something or don't. Nobody even cares. Sure. Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But... But it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on as your permanent in-suit advisor? Was the best choice he could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back. A bunch. Whoa, not bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just watching your shop. Have a look around. We got some good stuff for sale. But not everything. Some of it is mine! Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for sale. Hey, listen, I'm not too sure I'm willing to part with that puzzle. See, I never got around to solving it, and I hate to admit it, but that moment when you solve a whole jigsaw puzzle, it's very sexual to me. Not in an inappropriate way, you understand. It's more of an emotional experience, an enlightenment thing. An enlightenment thing where I orgasm. Yeah, sure, certainly, but that's not the whole point, you understand? Oh, sorry, partner, that's not for sale. Now listen here. These are my dear mom's ashes in that urn, and I'm thinking maybe I don't want to sell those no more. They carry a certain amount of, say, sentimental value to me. So they're off the table, okay? Just keep walking. 
No, get good eye. That thing's a real beauty, and I'm keeping it. So buy something else. Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for sale. Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for sale. Oh, sorry, partner. That's not for sale. Oh, you like that, huh? Well, it's mine. You can't have it. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty, and I'm keeping it. So buy something else. This place reeks ass. Oh, wait, that's you. Why is this taking so long? Hey, don't cause any trouble like you did outside. I know what you've been up to, bounty hunter. Beautiful day, isn't it? Do you even know what you're looking for? Is this your first time at a store? Jor, be a doll and tell the customer to stop climbing on our shelf. No, I think it's cool they're doing that. I think it kicks serious ass. Hey, uh, I really don't give a shit if you make a mess in here, but I'm supposed to tell you to cut it out. You having fun up there, dipwad? Hopping around on our shelves? All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Jean. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Hey, you can run, you know. I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I can't say the name of the button because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. Yeah, we can't get inside that lug locks without something really sharp. Just looking at you, I mean, my god! A really good one. That was one of the best ones I've ever done, actually. So, let's go out on a high note. Show's really over now. Don't keep watching. The Gooksters still got it, thank god. Oh my god. I I'm gonna level with you. If I didn't land that last break, I was absolutely gonna jump in a bathtub with a toaster and just let electricity kill the shit out of me. And thank god I didn't fuck it up because now I can live to see another day and do more pranks. See you next week on Jimmy Goopster's Big Fat Prank Show. Mwah! Love you, goodbye. Hi, hi, hey, 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 come over here. Hey, hey, yeah, you, you, yeah. Come over to the TV, yeah. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> I'm look at me guy, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> yep, this isn't even a show, it's just a guy talking to you, isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? That's a fun idea. It's just not even a TV show. It's just you and me. Coming up next time on Look At Me. I'm still here. Hi. <laughs> I'm still here and you're still special. This is not a TV show. Next time on Look At Me. Okay, okay. That, that last one was a TV show, but this time I'm really just a guy. I'm just a guy saying hi. <laughs> yeah, this is a good idea. Next time on Look At Me. Okay, uh, uh, okay, I, that's not a good look, the whole next time on thing, that, that made it look like a show, but look at it this way, I, I, I love you, right? <laughs> I love you, I genuinely love you. Next time on Look At Me. I wanna fuck you, okay? Okay, you're looking at me again, right? Are you? I can't tell. It is a TV show and I can't tell. I can't tell if you're looking at me. That's the hardest part of this fucking show. Next time on Look At Me. I love you, okay? I said it. I, I already said it, but I mean, I said it and meant it this time. The other times, I was just being a little skeezy, a little fucking weirdo. But this time, I love you. Next time on Book At Me.
I, I don't like being on a TV. People tell me to be on a TV because they say it's how it's supposed to be, but I don't like doing it. And you are the first thing I've seen that has made me feel like I'm doing something right. And I know that's a lot to put on you, but if you look away, I'm gonna commit murder homicide next time on Look At Me. Okay, you can look away now. Bye-bye. I'm done. Bye. Next time on Look At Me. We're the Gun Shooters. This is a new episode of Gun Shooters. There's three of us, and we all shoot guns at bad guys. I'm Jeffrey Gun Shooter. I'm Jerry, also Gun Shooter. And I'm Bob Gun Shooter. It's me. Jerry, Bob, and Je Jeffrey Gun Shooter. One of them with the hyphen at Smith at the end. And we're all here to just totally shoot our guns and hurt bad guys. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, I'm excited because I got a new gun I've been dying to try out. Can you show me? Um, no. It's actually not allowed to be on TV. The gun's not allowed to be on TV? Are we still recording? I, I just was telling you personally, I was excited. I, I didn't want to do this one for the show. This is uh, we're off. Turn off the cameras. I, I just let, let me turn off the camera. Yeah, it's just I feel like we used to do this off camera and it was more fun, but now that we made it our job, it just feels suffocating. <laughs> is this not a scripted show? Is this a reality show? This is a real. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good to know. It just feels like my passion, my heart's not there anymore. We used to do the gun shooting thing, and it was uh, just the three brothers and brother-in-law or something. I don't know what. <laughs> Two brothers and a brother-in-law, and we we loved shooting guns. But now it's just like, oh, we got the sponsors giving us money, and you know that feels nice because I like money, but I just don't like losing that passion, my soul. Hey, Bob, gun shooter Smith, can you can you shoot this guy? Yeah, but before I do that, can I just say, like, we had months of pre-production and months of planning before that where you had every opportunity to voice your opinion on this. And, yo, maybe I'm talking out of turn. I mean, I just, you just welcomed me into your family about two years ago. Thank you for the clarification on, how, on when you entered our family. Well, it's more for myself. My anniversary is coming up soon, and I don't want to forget. <laughs> Did you marry one of our sisters, maybe? Just trying to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, and you took her name. That's very progressive of you. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it seemed like the right thing to do. I don't know. We would have shot you if you didn't. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, well, I mean, if if, if my brother-in-law tells me to shoot my other brother-in-law, I guess I gotta do it, but I, I, I mean... Uh... Hey, are you guys still rolling, or is this off? See, this is what I'm talking about. What's for the show? What's our life? What is my life anymore? It's, it's just all TV. The lines are blurred for sure. The lines are blurred. I love you guys. I love Please you don't too. Shoot yeah, me. I love you too. I love you too. Please don't shoot me. I won't shoot. Okay. Shoot okay. okay. Thank you guys. I'll shoot you a smile at the next family <laughs> reunion. Okay, buddy. Hey, are you guys still rolling? No, we just cut. Hi! 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 How are you doing? Hi! Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, come closer. Come over here. Okay. Huh, there's there's little guys coming out of your house. That okay? Nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational Bounty 5000. So, uh, you're welcome. A what 5000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? 
They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species. So, do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well, yeah, if it's gonna help, sure. I'm sorry, everything I've ever known just got flipped upside down, so I don't know what's weird or not anymore. Hey, I, I don't like getting up to take shit, so I'm just gonna shit right here in the couch later. I don't have to shit right now, but... Just a heads up. Like that. Was that weird or was that normal? It was weird, right? It was weird. Your mom's nice. Anyway, come talk to me when you're ready to get down to business. So what, we just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers, or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at glumpies without a level 4 fuck pass, do they? Uh, what? I, I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus. Uh, so bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know. And so did you. So soon we forget. Fine, I guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens, too. Go ahead, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll go see what the drinking age is here in space. You're gonna use the bar. <laughs> Shit. Normally that door would open up a gateway that lets you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the bounty 5000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, sure. All right, l let's go, bounty hunter. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. What are you, confused? This ain't warp science, kid. Go head out to the city, get into the slums, kill... Don't forget to get my knife! We're looking for the gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. L listen, just follow the waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? Hello, citizens. I'm Blim City Magistrate Clug Nudman, and I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply has clearly been poisoned again by Gary the Poisoner. And the mandatory sexual repression chips that we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired, this time making them far, far hornier than ever. However, there's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those issues. Cold, hard drugs. These figures don't lie. However, things don't have to be this way. As Chancellor, under my five-year plan, all drugs will be eradicated. And that's the Klugnugman promise. 
Thanks to our new Keep Slim City Clean initiative, we've managed to keep drugs like Fergals and Space Meth out of the hands of our extremely horny geriatrics. No criminal organizations like the G3 cartel have been able to sow their evil seeds in our fair city. For now, remember, we're all in this together. No matter how many surveillance drones we purchase... and I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply has clearly been poisoned again by... Hey, the don't even think about going down to the slums. Yeah, this is a maintenance-only shaft, so square. Okay, that's got to be the way into the slums. Here, let me sweet-talk these two um, weirdos. Hey, uh, kid, uh, excuse me, can we get our... Uh, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on. So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then shit a bit for oh, it. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't make him answer this one. No, I want to know. It's fine. We'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? This feels like a trap. I'd, I'd rather not say. Come on. You gotta answer. It's a hypothetical. We know it's not real. Well, you know, you, you know, just give us like your gut instinct. Come on, come on. Don't be afraid. We can take it. I guess the red guy. Whoa, seriously? Okay, come on. You, you don't got to say that just to make him feel better. He's a big boy. He can take it if you think he's way uglier than No, no, me. no. They said me. They picked me, dude. They picked me, not you. They picked me. They said I was hotter, not you. <laughs> well, it's true. Look at you. I'm not a liar, man. I never lied in my life. I look at you and I see Bill. No, well, well, that's not what they said. They said I, they picked me. I, they said I was hotter. I, didn't you say that? Listen, we're not switching around here. We picked the red guy. That's the direction we're moving in. Thank you. Thank God. Thank you so much for not changing. I really thought you were going to flake on me. No. Thank you. No, fuck you. Change your mind right now. Pick me instead. This is insane. I am so much hotter. You, you need to chill out. All right, they picked me, and that's final. That's a final pick. If you want to throw a fit, do it on your own time. Just let me have this one time, man. Hey, thanks for being honest. Look, don't tell anyone, but you can go through my door anytime you want from now on. Our little secret. Free passage in and out of the slums. Wow, thank you. you. You have no idea how helpful that is. Well, my door's locked forever. You made an enemy today. You're never, ever gonna get to use my door. Well, you know what? That's fine, because we have this other door that works just as well. Remember our catchy slogan. If you see something, please quickly report it to one of many service representatives. Hey, do your best and have fun. You think I forgot you sided with this dipshit instead of me? Nope, I didn't. Fuck off. Seriously, thanks again for saying I'm hotter. You have no idea what that's going to do for my self-esteem. I'm already feeling it. They were kidding. They were fucking with you. I'm obviously so much hotter. I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I've never been topside. Oh, Lord. No, come on, would you stop with the killing for a bit? Oh, it's a topsider. Not interested. 
Would you chill out? They don't need to die. Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be careful. Sorry to hear that. Well, well. <laughs> Look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey there, fresh meat. Welcome to the slums, fresh meat. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Fucking kid. What's wrong, fresh meat? You scared of a little kid? Eh, yeah, I'm a little kid. Look at me. Look at me. Eh, you're scared of me? Oh, I'm scary. Not. <laughs> well, maybe I am. <laughs> Look at me. I'm scary. No, we just want to get past. Come on. Let's see what you got, fresh meat. If you can't handle me, how are you going to deal with nine Torg's goons? Don't let them get to you. <laughs> Look at fresh meat getting flustered by a little kid. Just ignore him. Watch that it. That suit looks dumb. You an unregistered bounty. Shit. Suit. We got to take down these drones. Oh, shit, fresh meat. Bounty hunting is illegal down here. Didn't you know that? He's just a kid. Don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I look so shootable. <laughs> hey, shit for brains. I can tell you want to shoot me. Do it. I bet you're a fucking coward. I can see it in your eyes, fresh meat. You actually want to shoot a defenseless little kid like me just because I'm really annoying. Well, go for it. I think it would be really funny. <laughs> I think it would. It I'm might... not shooting a kid. Go. Ah, you shot me. I'm dead. Eh. All right there. Are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. Yeah, normally, killing children in games isn't, isn't allowed, but he's dead. We killed this kid. Are, are you happy now? We killed the kid. The kid is dead now. There goes our E for everybody rating. So it finally happened. Someone killed my son. Y your son? Yep. The kid up there who always calls everyone fresh meat. We are so sorry. Listen, don't get used to that. We're not killing any more kids. I'm drawing the line, so savor it. Enjoy it. It happened. Tuck it away in the old memory book. No, it's fine. He was 30 years old, so don't feel too bad. 30 years old is still adolescence for our species, but it's not as bad as shooting like a five-year-old or something. So don't worry, you just did regular murder. And I warned him over and over. I said, don't sit up there calling strangers fresh meat or some gun-toting psychopath is gonna shoot you dead in cold blood. And you went and did it. Good for you. Anyway, please, just leave me to mourn. Jesus. Oh, 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 my stupid, annoying son. I'll miss him a little bit. I'll miss him a very small amount. Let's save the homicidal urges for the bad guys, okay? Hey, you can't pass through here. It's Nine Torg's turn. Jesus, enough with everyone getting in our way. We just want to kill Nine Torg. Yeah, right. You kill Nine Torg? Get lost, shit heel. You're never gonna get to Nine Torg! You have to get through all our trusty foot soldiers first! Whoa! You think you got a shot at the Nine Torg fam? Hey! What are you doing? Dreaming. You can't do that! Hey, Torgs! Kill the intruder! This... What the fuck? Holy shit, you just killed Jason! Jason's dead! Oh shit, here we go. We're gonna have to kill some of these Torg foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. Some kind of bounty hunter? Asshole. Yeah, this is not Shit, they're shooting at us. Come shoot back. Come on, shoot back. Hey, why'd you leave? You think that was all? Where are you? 
Oh, there's some one of the saints. You fucking don't even know. Here comes another talk at you. for somebody who can help us. So you, you think maybe there's somebody friendly around here who can help? I mean, maybe try using your scanner, uh, uh, you know, on your, on your, on your suit. Like, sorry, I don't mean to be a backseat driver. I'm just sharing my ideas. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Aim me at those platforms. Come on, come on, give it a shot. It'll be fun. Fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my glob shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My, mine does. Oh, another one. Let's do it again. Come on, this feels so good. It feels really good when you shoot one of these big globs, and it's cool. Yes. Oh, oh my god, I could do this all day. D doesn't this fucking rule? God, I love spewing big gloopy globs. great information I could share. I'm just sitting here, fishing away, waiting for someone to come over and ask me stuff. I'm just gonna whistle to myself for a bit now, till someone talks to me. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Oh, okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. So, uh, what exactly are you doing out here? What? I'm fishing. You can tell I'm fishing, right? Oh, right. Duh, of course. Of course. Sorry. That, it's, it's very obvious. Yes. So, ha have you caught anything? No. Never have, never will. No fish can live down here in this sludge. If there aren't any fish in there, why are you fishing? What's, what is that? What's going on? Because I'm still working up the courage to drown myself. Yikes. Wow. Okay. TMI, maybe, a little bit. So, uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here, at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it. It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there, and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. Uh, you're a wise old fisherman. Can you tell us a little bit about Nine Tor? Quiet. She's got ears everywhere. Or antennae. Whatever ants be here with. Is she really that dangerous? Come on. I mean, she's just one gang lord. Just one? <laughs> what about the other eight Torgs? Wait, so the nine and nine Torg is... It's a counter? There's nine Torgs? Nine clones, yep. And that's just what's left. There used to be even more of them, but they always kill each other. Fighting for dominance over what? This hellhole? <laughs> 
This month, nine Torgs in charge. Last month, it was 14 Torg before they killed her. Now, nine Torgs fighting with five Torg. It never ends. Which one do you prefer? Uh, eight Torg is the hottest. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Stop trying to kill everyone, Jesus! Hey, what the fuck? Did he just kill everyone? Hold up, don't shoot. I, I got an idea. It's another trick up my little slimy sleeve. Try hitting him with my glob shot. Take your time and aim right. You're gonna kill us now. Oh, God. Please don't. Don't do that. Don't shoot a glob of your goop at us and knock us into the sludge or anything like that. Please don't. Hey, come on, you know what to do, pal. Come on. You know exactly what to do. You know what Poppy likes. Hey, come on. Now don't kill us. You're really strong. You don't have anything to prove. You don't need to shoot us into the sludge. Don't use your goop globs on me and knock me in, and don't use your goop globs on him and knock him in. That terrifies me. I hate this. I hate trying to have to convince you to not kill us and not shoot us with your goop and shoot us into the sludge. I hate having to have this conversation. Like, what even is that stuff? Is that, like, your bodily fluids? Is that shit? Are you shooting shit at us, your green shit? Yeah, that sucks too. And even if it's not your shit, it's still, like, weird. Like, what is it? Is it booger? This sucks. This fucking sucks. You're not gonna kill me, right? <laughs> no, thank you so much, right? You, you just said right, right? I'm so glad you agreed not to kill me and not to shoot me into a sludge. You're having, you're having some trouble. That, 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 that's fine. <laughs> Keep trying until you get it. You know, I, I'm gonna be patient because it's my cool glob shot. Whoa, perfect shot. You fucking nailed it. How sick was that? Whew, okay, I gotta recharge. It doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer when there's enemies nearby. You know, my, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? Maybe we're good at this. Looks like he was die clean only. Hey, careful with the merchandise. Whoa, whoa, hold up a bit. Let's listen. Up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I wanna tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Jean's knife. Ah, fuck you! Got it, freak. We've had enough of your bullshit. Yeah, it's your fault. Stebulax is dead. I was in love with him. Did you know that? I loved him, and now his hands cut off. Just the way it should be. Fuck him. Hey, guess what? I have another secret trick you can use. The power of negotiation. Let's try reasoning with these guys. Knock on the door. Tell me how oh, you want to play you this. Fuck you, insufferable fucking cunts. When I'm loose, oh, you're not going to want to see what kind of shit's going to happen. Fuck you. I should just toss you in the sludge. Baby, ignore him. He's just trying to get to you. Thanks, Hunt. You, you really know how to calm me down. You know, now that I think of it, it's kind of a good thing Stevulax died, because I found you, right? Aw, oh, babe, I love you too. Oh, cool, they're in love. That's nice. Ugh, yuck, don't do that in front of me. Get a fucking room. Fuck you. Huh? 
Who's there? Who are you? Uh, hey! Hello there, friends! Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? No, it's me, your lover, Stevulax. I'm back from the dead. What? Oh my god, baby! You're alive! Your, your voice sounds different, though. Let's play along. No shooting. Wait. You're not my dead lover, Stevulax. You're just a person. Oh, what a good trick. You tricked me. Nice job. <laughs> they told us this buyer was a real prankster. Oh, you. Come on. That was pretty fucked up. That joke is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> you got him good. Okay, though, but enough of that. Uh, let's show them the problem. All right, here's the product. A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you, he's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you, I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, great. Go ahead. Feel free to inspect it. Try him out. See how he feels in your hand. Yeah, yeah, fucking free me. Let's go. Let's go psycho on these fuckers. Come on, what are you fucking waiting for? Pick me up. Let's make a fucking mess already. I want to see red. Oh, fuck yes. Thank you. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knifey. Now use me, use me. Let me fucking stab these cocksucking hands. Oh, just a reminder, uh, don't do anything crazy when you're holding the knife. Just like look at it, see if you like it, put it back. Yeah, thank you. Hey, nice swing. How'd it feel? What the fuck, you meet? What the fuck are you waiting for? Excuse me, come on, stop, stop, stop! Wow, that knife is so you. Uh, will you be buying it? Put it down gently and we'll do the sale? What the fuck? So, do you find the knife satisfactory? Do you want to buy it and not stab us with it, please? Whoa, careful! You don't want to hit one of us by mistake, do you? No, you do! You do want to do that! Look, I'm a knife! I'm made for stabbing! Every second you're not stabbing is a second you're wasting! We got two perfectly good bodies right here to stab! Oh, fuck yes! Finally! You have no idea how long oh, I've been oh thinking God. about this! You just this. killed the second love of my life! Let me in there! Oh, God, this feels amazing! Oh, no! Oh, no! I know when I should leave! Oh, God, I'm getting out of here! Yeah, yeah, come on, get him! You know, in some sick kind of way, I always knew this is how I'd die. Stabbed by a talking knife. What the fuck are you doing? You can't stop now. We've already started. Kill the fucking other one. <sighs> yes, fuck yes. More, more. I need more stabbing. Hey, you, listen. Point me at your raw, fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there. Let's get all those guts torn up. Let's see that fucking red goop spill out. I can't stop now. Oh, uh, that's a pass for us. Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene, so I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch! John. Yeah, there we go! Fucking cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge. What the fuck are you doing? Didn't you hear me? I'll help you swing off that bug. Oh, fuck yeah! Not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The Sludge Works processing plant. Nine Torg was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Torg or six Torg or whatever. I don't know. There's too many. Yeah, there's too many Torgs. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big Sludge Works sign. I want to stab somebody. Locks. Use me! I can open those fuckers up real good! And there's loot inside for you too! Win-win! Yes! Oh, so you uh, mentioned that Gene gave you to Nine Torg? Gave? Try gamble me away in a game of space poker? That sack of shit! Can't wait to stab all three of his fucking eyes! Even the wonky one! Especially the wonky one! Hate that one!
Gene, didn't he used to be a hero? Yeah, he used to be. Hard to tell these days, right? Towards the end, the only thing I was cutting for him was sandwiches. Not even the good ones. Peanut butter sandwiches. And no fucking jelly. Not even like ham or anything good. Okay, feed me that Gatorol, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. I have dignity, you know? I'm not about to... Mamma oh, mia, that's the stuff. me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get Nine Torque. Talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg! You know, Seven Torg said the same thing right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. You got this!
Come on, admit it. We're, 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 we're hurting you. No. Fuck you. pretty good. I, I, I really didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off. All right, it's time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of her. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat, but since it's your first, I'll let you pick. Jesus, are you are you kidding? What kind of bounty hunters don't know that you've got to bring back proof of the kill to get paid? Oh, God. Oh, don't be such a goddamn baby. I'll do all the messy work. Just go up to a corpse and let me go wild. Oh, God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. She's a gusher. Can we have just taken like a fingernail, some spit, uh, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure. Could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was like off the hook. You're not going to take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? Oh, uh -huh. don't worry. Things are going to be a lot different around here. So no more crime then? Oh, not that different then. Technically, all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still going to do a bunch of crime. But we're cool. Huh. As far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be ten Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full.
We have knifey, let's use him. Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. Hey, it's good for our backs. I'm, I'm actually the one who put myself here. Thanks for the rescue. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang here for a bit. Yeah, next time you come back, well, hey, hey, what are you doing? Another boss, I, I, I think, like a, a bonus secret boss. G good work. Oh great, yeah, let's go into the toxic shit. Hey, you know, that was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, I mean don't don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. I don't know why that guy even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad.
Hey, uh, you know, feel free to keep exploring, but whenever you're ready, we just gotta go through the tunnel that we ca came here in. You know, that tunnel? me to Jane and let's stab him in the gut. Wah! Come on, crossing my antenna for something good here. Christopher Walken? Hey, I'm walking here. This is New York City. Yeah, pretty good, right? Ah, oh, the translator, Mike Chris. We're thinking about two different people, but same kind of thing, same kind of idea. Yeah! What's it like up there? You gotta tell me. No, nope. calm down, not nope. Oh, hey, I'm still here. Oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken. Welcome back to my amazing place. So you look, you're looking for a new sidekick? Good time in the slums. Come visit any time. Just don't talk to me. There's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those issues. Nice! Hard drugs. These figures don't lie. However, things don't have to be this way. As Chancellor, under my five-year plan, all drugs will be eradicated. And that's the Klug Nugman promise. Thanks to our new Keep Blim City Clean initiative, we've managed to keep drugs like Fergals and Space Meth out of the hands of our... Okay. Ah! Oh, 
they keep they keep shocking me. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, they keep. Huh? Why is the door closed? Because that's what we sell here: our shock rods. Who is it? And, and you got my munch dash delivery? What? No, it's us. Oh shit! Really? Good job. Oh, hold on. Is that Gene? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. Ah! That fucking shock you really bad. If you need to shock somebody or shock anyone else or shock yourself, that's the thing. You, you, you gotta. What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No. I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like killing Nine Talk? Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean. Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yeesh. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh,. Hold on to him for now. Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously, let me stab him. So, <laughs> what, you're some sort of bounty hunter now? What are you gonna save humanity? You only kill the bad guys, not the good ones. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Are you proud of your sibling here? <laughs> I mean, not really, but you, you enjoy, you enjoy. Well, there you go. You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You're, uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try, and if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that, or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time don't assume we're just gonna die. Right. Got it. You're really gonna need that Dodge unit from the pawn shop. The suit's not really complete without it. Look, I know Mr. Keeks annoying, but you gotta put up with him and buy back that Dodge unit. T-Rex on the loose. I'm coming out to get you. I'm gonna cook. Okay, fine. You don't wanna go to the pawn shop? Well, I'm not doing any more research on the G3 until you do. Jump into the fire. Jump into my brain. Dinosaur music inside my brain. What, while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops, or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone up here just makes the slums sound really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power.
Yeah, sure. Just paying us back for losing. <laughs> I thought you did great. Yeah, well, the only great is when you win. <laughs> Work it, girl. <laughs> oh! Hi, Byron. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Byron, meet Michael. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you in the flesh. You know, Tammy talks about you all the time. <laughs> and I can say, girl, you didn't exaggerate one bit. <laughs> well, I got to fly. Bye, Michael. <laughs> uh, you know Byron, don't you? Yeah, I think everybody knows Byron. <laughs> so. So what? You shouldn't have done this. I can't accept. You're really gonna need that Dodge unit from the pawn shop. The suit's not really complete without it. Shock rods.